Hey, what's up guys? My name is Blake and today we're going to be talking about just a few things that you might need to get if you want to start working out at home, if you want to amp up your workouts at home. Now, disclaimer, you don't have to have all these things. You don't have to have any of these things if you don't want to. Um, but these are just a few things that I think might help you get started working out at home and accelerate your workout. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing is going to be dumbbells. Um, dumbbells are super duper useful because you can use them for a bunch of different exercises, a bunch of different muscle groups. Um, and there's tons of different dumbbell exercises out there when it comes to curls or tricep extensions or whatever. You can use them for almost anything. Um, and they will help you with progressive overload as far as being able to lift more um, and being, getting stronger and all that stuff. So <clears throat> dumbbells are very, very good, very, very helpful. They'll help you get a lot of intensity out of your workouts with all the weight resistance that you're going to get from using good dumbbells, proper form, and all that good stuff. Number two is going to be a bench. Now a bench is going to be really, really useful for a number of different reasons. Obviously you can do like a bench press, um, you can lay down and do like tricep extensions, you can do step ups, you can do, if you don't have a box, you can do box jumps on top of a bench, you can do tricep dips, you can do a whole bunch of different things with just that bench. Um, and not, and that's just, that's just with a flat bench. If you get a bench that has variable heights, you can use it for an incline or a decline, all that good stuff. Bench is really, really useful for a number of different reasons. So there's tons of different things that you can get out of just the bench. Resistance bands, number three. Uh, so resi resistance bands can be really, really cool because say you're a super duper beginner, you don't have any dumbbells, you don't want dumbbells, maybe you're not strong enough to start doing dumbbells yet. Um, you can use resistance bands to use the same exact workouts, same exact motions, all that good stuff, whether it's tricep extensions, regular curls, anything like that. Um, heck, you can even use them for like uh, resistance push-ups and all that stuff. So um, res resistance bands can replace, not I won't say replace, but they can use, be used instead of dumbbells, especially if you're a beginner, um, and they can be used by themselves for tons of different workouts. They have so many different uses. You can use them for core workouts, for uh, um, for compound workouts, a bunch of different things. So resistance bands are a must. you got to have some resistance bands. That's really going to help. Number four, it's kind of a weird one, a mat, like a yoga mat or something like that. If you have, uh, if you don't have carpet in your house, if you have hardwood floors, tile, all that stuff, it might you might get your, you know, you might start feeling the pain from that stuff from doing the on, uh, from doing on the ground type workouts, whether it be sit-ups, um, any kind of uh, core workouts, side plank lifts, all that kind of stuff. A yoga mat is something that you really, over time, you will appreciate having it. It's a nice cushy surface that you can use instead of you know grinding your arms on the on the tile or the hardwood or something like that. So like I said, a little a little weird one. You don't absolutely need it, but it's. It's been really useful for me, and I really am glad I, I bought one for, for my workouts. So, all right, number five is going to be uh, a pull-up bar. So you can get a pull-up bar um, at the you know at Dunham's or whatever a sports workout place, you know Dick Sporting Goods or something like that. Um, and a pull-up bar is just a bar that you can put up on like a door frame, and you can use it for pull-ups, for chin-ups. Um, you can use it, you can also put like a uh, resistance band around it, and you can use it for assisted pull-ups. Um, so it's got a lot of different uses. If you don't have a pull-up bar, you don't have somewhere to do pull-ups, you can also just do it like on the door frame or some of, of like a boiler room door or something like that, like you can see me doing right here. All right, and then one last one that's kind of like an honorable mention or something kind of goofy is a sweatband or headband or something like that um, because you're going to be sweating your butt off while you're doing these workouts with these dumbbells and resistance bands and all that good stuff. Um, and I'm a ball guy and all you ball guys out there know you sweat a lot. You start sweating really fast because that sweat starts dripping like your shack free, free throw line. So um, a headband or something to absorb the sweat is going to be really helpful for you so you're not getting sweat in the eyes while you're trying to do sit-ups and all that good stuff. Okay? So, like I said, I tried to do this video as quick as I could so it's not 20 minutes long but hopefully you guys get the gist. Hopefully this helps you a little bit and if you want to start working out at home, you don't want to pay a monthly membership to a, to a gym, you want to start working out at home long term. This is just a few things that has helped, helped me um, stay on track with my workouts and get a lot of intensity on my workouts. So, that being said, if you guys like the video, please like, share, subscribe, and please feel free to put a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, whatever. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.